could have been resting on the ball field. That may be one of them to do it. The Bible talks about falling away. Teaching the demons. Paul and I had to discuss a little bit this morning about demons. The devil. They're right here in Jacksonville. Man. Right here in Jacksonville. The devil worshiping them right here. Ephesians 2, verse 8 and 9. For grace are you saved through faith, that not of yourselves, it's a gift of God. Verse 9 says, Not a worst, works lest any man should boast. Works plus grace equal nothing. But grace plus nothing equals salvation. Today, there's other gospels out there. I heard a sermon the other day. I, I, I don't know who it was. Oh, I, anyway, it said that uh, you go to Walmart, you go to Walmart and look for the King James Bible, it's on the bottom shelf. You go to look on the top shelf, you got New Age. You want to make sure the New Age people see that. Not the Christian. There's on the bottom. And then if you find it, it's going to be an NIV. For those who don't know about NIV, they leave out one third of the Bible. Amen. I thank God for this little church. Amen. Sure do. Been there for us. Appreciate that. We're in this thing together. If our whole team that's on our road, Miss Mary, would get on fire for the Lord and show up on Sunday and Sunday night, we'd have the devil cut the trail. Mm -hmm. Amen. 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 People don't come think it's our responsibility to pray for them. No. When you became a member of this church. You told God in this church you were going to support it Amen. faithfully of the tenants and also in finances. Some of our people have dropped the ball. Mm -hmm. We got some folks here that are tired. You didn't work hard. But the Lord works hard. But he's here. He's here. He may just get out of his truck and go in here, but he did. A lot of years. He worked hard. But we ought to do better. We'll challenge him. Last Sunday of this month, okay, write it down somewhere. You won't forget. We're going to shoot. 35 in Sunday school and 50 in worship service. Oh, why would we do that? If those people don't come, we do it. That would do it. You make a big mountain out of this. No. Hebrews 10, Hebrews 10 25 don't say that. You can't worship the Lord out there on a fish bank as good as you can in here. No. Amen. We got to go out. Bring me in. Bring me in. I'm just, I'm just telling all of that. Teenagers growing, a teenager is growing up on us. Going to college. <laughs> we got to go out and get some more. You know, God has blessed this church so much over the years, and blessed us. But I wonder if we would do what He's called us to do. How much more of a blessing here today? Amen. Blessings. <clears throat> you don't like blessings? Amen. I don't like scolding. I don't like blessings. But just think about it. And, you know, he told me that same thing. He probably should have been home and they would have been hurt like that. Mm -hmm. There were people last night. Glenn, Glenn was hurt last night. 
Yes, it was. It'd be easy to say, I'm just hiring an artist. To me, we get stuff I'm sure a lot of women's hands are being part of. To help the to, to Deanna and others. Miss Kathy, you know, they travel some months at this time. I think they pass each other in the hall with the house. <laughs> but you're here this morning. It'd be easy to stay home, maybe. Yeah. What I'm trying to tell you is we are like a big chain. And if one link, one link of that chain is gone, we're not connected to everybody. That's why that one link is so important. You're important to God. And you need God with you every step of the day. But it's going to get worse. This election is going to get worse and worse and worse. People are crazy out there. What's the sad part about it? It's got to get worse before Jesus comes back. No. And then we, we, you got grounded in the word, you're in trouble. As we stand, please.